So now you should have your block 5 completed as well as your block 6. So I have both blocks completed. And I wanted to show you something with this block because as I was making it, and remember how I told you to always make sure that you count? Well, I was trying to count, but I was also watching TV at the same time. So I had made a mistake. Let me see where it was. Right here. So right here you can see where I skipped that triangular stitch where I told you not to skip them. <laughs> so <laughs> I didn't catch that. And you can see that it doesn't, unless you're afraid of the broken lines where um, some people, they like perfectly straight lines. And that's okay. I'm just not that um, way with my image. You know, I, I'm not that um, particular. But if you are, there is, I have a link for the Facebook group where they have excellent tutorials to teach you how to keep your lines perfectly straight. And you're more than welcome to use my graphs too. Just please give me credit for the graphs that I draw for you. So anyway, so here, and most people aren't even going to notice that unless I point it out to you. So, or someone who knows Tunisian crochet and knows that I'm, I did something there with the lines. <laughs> so anyway, I missed that line and I didn't catch it until I got to the goldfish. So there are two options if you do that, the same thing that I did. And the only way usually that that will happen is if you're not careful with your count. So if, you, if you're careful with your count, you should know that you have 40. But I missed the 39 count because I was watching television. And I didn't catch it till I got to the fish and I realized something's not right. I should have had five blue here and I only had four. So anyway, for frogging, and for those of you that aren't familiar with the term frogging, that means that you have to undo your beautiful work up to where you found where the error was. So I found where my error was and I realized that I didn't want to frog all the way down to there. Now if you did frog all the way down to here, you would have to put your Tunisian hook into the loop at the beginning of this row and then pull out all of the yarn up to this row and then redo that, that line. Now for me, I didn't want to do that. So I'm going to show you a little trick. If you want to do the same thing and you don't want to frog, so over here, now remember I had 39 rows for each of these. So I wanted to bring it back to 40. So what I did was right here you'll notice that I put a blue line in with the pink line here. So you can't, you can do that with two different colors with one loop from stitch from the previous row. You can't do that with the same color. If you try it, you'll see how it kind of loops up on your hook and you it just won't it doesn't look right, it won't, it won't work. The only way that this will work is if you use two different colors, and I usually pick an area that hugs the image so people can't really see it, unless you're really up in there and you really know Tunisian and you're like, oh, you did this, it's not perfectly straight. So here, you can barely see it unless I really show it to you. You can see that it forms a little bit of a V on that one stitch. So what I essentially did is I added another stitch to bring my row back up to 40 stitches. So a neat trick to use if you don't want to frog all the way down to your error. So I just wanted to show you that. 